Oh man, Santa Fe of Pine. When Tookie was there, everybody there. When Tookie get off from work, he worked there. He was a counselor there. So we go to the corner right there on Santa Fe of Pine. Had a little plaza. All the crips we up there because uh, Tookie in the big red house. Then he left the big red house and moved to Atlanta Drive and started that. Jumped that off the Atlanta Drive crips. They just say, don't panic, it's Atlanta. When did Atlanta come on? They came on when Tookie went over. Bob Simmons owned the home. The Bob Simmons uh, home. It was mostly for Crips. So when Bob Simmons went up, bought some more stuff on Atlantic Drive and duplexes, Tookie went over there. Then he turned the whole neighborhood. Then they became Atlantic Drive. So Tookie had a lot of influence in Compton. Man, yeah. That's a trip that Raymond Washington didn't have much. No, Raymond had come out to, uh, he came out, like, he came out to Centeno uh, on one of your videos where AC was saying that he came out to the car reports called Raymond, right? Then the day Raymond came, came with his crew to get busy with them power rules, but AC, you know, knew him, grew up with him, and that was squashed him. Cause they 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 rack pack AC, and then the car reports called Raymond, and I'm thinking, okay, we're going to finish this if, you know, Raymond come up here, it's over for the pyro. Stay done. We're going to end this shit. Did you used to go up to Duval's? Yeah, man. Back in the day, back in the day, pyro was like the pyro boys. We was cool with them, right? You know, they wasn't claiming nothing. They was pyro boys. So we all hanging up there, you know what I mean? Crips and stuff. Then when the stuff jumped off, we still going up there, but they didn't want no Crips up in there. So we up in there. We, we crip walking all that. Somebody come in, get the the, 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 the the announcer and say, if any crips up in here, step outside, you know? And we said, what? Oh, these pirates want some? We go outside. They waiting on them. They got guns. That, then we come out. They're across the street. We walking up on them. They start blasting. Hit by four of my homies. That was like 72, 73, and... Uh, that's when the war first started. Yeah, when, uh, putting them, you know, I seen putting blasting, right? You know what I mean? Putting. He made Pyro. I'm finna tell you, putting made Pyro what it is today. Putting and Tam, they was, I'll be honest, they were psychopaths. And I used to see them, I said, man, they'd be some good crypt, because these some straight killers. They, Pudding went around all the Compton, all the Crip games in Compton, knew Pudding, because he put in working against all of us. And we all get together and say, man, we're going to kill Pudding, right? All them Crip games out there. So we would find out what car. Pudding driving a 6 foot green, right? So when we would see that car, the neighborhood start blasting on the car, then Pudding would sell it to somebody else and get him another car because his car is marked. Then somebody else would get all shot up, you know what I mean? And he would buy another car, then work out. Pudding got this. Boom, that car gets shot up. You know, I say, Pudding ain't going to live too long because he got all these crib games looking for him, and he putting in work. I mean, that brother put it down. Pudding, Tam, AC, Little Vince, Lorenzo Bennett. They were some of the, they were their top dog. I said Tam, yeah. Hey, you know uh, LB? LB, yeah, I know LB. Thumper, he can get out. He, he, he was a thumper. Did you guys get along? No, we didn't get along. We was at it. Okay. It was on the crack. Well, you, you consider yourself first generation or second? First generation. Really? First generation Compton crap. Before we broke off and changed. Uh, awesome. I knew, I knew of AC. But the cat I knew from out from out that way was uh I met Big Putin from out there. And uh that was that was a that was a weird experience too because he had rolled up on me one time over in Inglewood and uh, I was just kinda posted up on 104th Street right off of Crenshaw. And uh, you know, he kinda pulled up real slow. He was in the real Riviera. I can't even remember if it was green or, bl or blue. He had a Riviera about sixty seven real. And uh, you know, he kinda was, you know, you know, you know, kind of mean mugging me a little bit. And uh, then he got out the car, you know, and he was talking about, you know, about some Crip stuff. And I'm like, hey, man, ain't no Crips over here. You know, so we, you know, so eventually he came over, man. We started talking and, uh, you know, we started talking and we was, you know, kind of socialized there for a minute. Yeah, he was, he was a big dude, man. And, uh, but he was cool, though. He was. You know, he was cool on that side because I never, I you know, 
I didn't really know too much about the Compton dudes, but I had met him. And then so he eventually did bring some of the Compton guys over to Inglewood. And we, that's how we ended up getting. All right, matter of fact, right where that slide is, is where Donald Duck, Norwood, and uh, Barton went head up right there. Show me where uh, Red House is from Oaks Park. Red House, if you went up, if you walk down this alley, and you go straight up this alley and make a left, you right at the Red House. And Oaks Park is right around the corner. And all the homies used to walk up this alley and go up this way and go to the Red House, and you right there. All right, what are we looking at? We're looking at the Red House. This is where Stanley Tookie Williams, Bob Simmons. It was the Bob Simmons boys' home with uh, Baby Boy Kenny and uh, Stanley Tookie Williams. And you had, he lived here with Killer Carl. You also had Limpy. You had uh, Weasel. You had Tiny Man, Shotgun. And among other individuals that sleepy, they all live right here in the Red House. It's, as you can see, it's now green, but it's the same house. I remember it well. We used to eat free lunch here, go over to the Pine Terrace across the street. Pine Terrace is across the street. They had the swimming pool. Took it used to act like a, he used to be the diving board. Everybody he used to pick everybody up and see how strong he could shot put us into the swimming pool. Yeah, that's what he did. He had them 25 inch horns. Matter of fact, the weight room was right there. That was glass at one time. All that was glass, and all the weights were stacked up right there. And you can see, if he did that, you pull up right here. Cat, his Cadillac be parked. 